Go. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Attrition, the action of sand grains colliding with each other and in doing so becoming smaller. Suspension carries very small particles for a long period of time. Surface creep, the rolling or pushing of sediment along the ground. Saltation, the movement of sand grains in a series of pots along the ground. <laughs> the entrainment and <laughs> removal by wind of unconsolidated un materials. <laughs> <laughs>
There is a big variety of Canyonland type features, including messes, hello camera, but, but, but which are steep sided plateaus of rock composed of horizontally bedded layers of rock capped by more resistant bands which protect softer rocks below. At the base of I, I can't read my script, oh dear. Uh, at the base of these features, uh, I can't read that word, <laughs> but there's basically gently sloping surfaces of bedrock which extend from the mountain front into the avial plain below. Wow. Stop it. <laughs> uh, I'm in a hot environment, just topping up my tan. <laughs> Now, Corasian creates sculptured rocks such as this Yardang, a linear line of clay, <laughs> and these Ventifacts, small Brazil nut shaped rocks a few centimetres in size. <laughs> the amount of erosion depends on the strength and duration of the wind, the composition and structure of the rocks, and <laughs> the amount of vegetation and the moisture in the soil. There are several features associated with alluvial deposition and they're all flat, low-lying areas with little vegetation, often partly occupied by shallow, ephemeral saline lakes. They usually have no surface outlet but are supplied by precipitation, <laughs> uh, groundwater seepage and surface runoff. When the lakes dry up, the soil becomes clayed and cracks. <laughs> and the water evaporation results in deposits of sodium chloride, sodium sulphate, gypsum and calcium carbonate. Right. Salt players vary in both size and origin. The largest players can, be, can stretch for several kilometres and occupy structural basins founded by faults. One example being Death Valley in California. Yeah. Salt hands are smaller versions of players and can be found in the Kalahari Desert. Uh, they're often about 100 metres across and are generally formed by wind deflation. Stabkers are an Arabic word. No, start again. <laughs> nah. Stabkers are an Arabic word. Keep an going. An Arabic word for salt pans is stabkers, which is used to des describe a salt pan fringing coastal areas. One example is the Arabian Peninsula. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. It's hot. Yeah. It's hot. Oh, yeah. Lights, camera, action. Thank <laughs> you.